Good morning stampers, I'm Meg from Woven Stamps and this is Make Our Mornings with Meg Monday edition. So hope you guys are ready for a fun project. So uh, we are going to relook at a designer series paper that is available as part of the DSP stock up in July. So make sure you're checking that out. Uh, link in the video description for supplies. But um, last week, or maybe the week before, I guess the beginning of the month, we did a card with um, the In Symmetry stamp set, this guy here, and it featured sort of this um, monochromatic, this single color kind of look here with the um, Knight of Navy and the paper. But there are a zillion great choices with this paper. And so I wanted to come back to this and show off some of the other colors. There's the back side, um, so that you really would get an appreciation for how useful this paper will be. Hey Trish, we did have a great weekend here. Hey Sue and Melinda and Tanya, uh, glad you guys are here. Um, all right, so uh, I wanted to change it up a little bit and not use the same stamp set though. So we are gonna use the Insymmetry paper but we're gonna swap out and use the Batik Boutique, um, and there you go, Batik Boutique. I'm not saying the same word twice, uh, but we're gonna use this Batik Boutique stamp set and the coordinating dies, um, these guys here, dangerous to hold them up in the air, I think, um, but I'm gonna use those to um, really make the most of this paper. They're actually adjacent to each other in the catalog, like you flip one more page, like 114 or 115, something like that, um, and then you actually will catch the Boutique Boutique stamp set. Um, but I am a huge Boutique fan, it kinda goes along with tie-dye, and so when I saw this one, I knew it was something that I had to add to my collection. So I'm gonna show you a great way to kinda make the most of those design elements, how to use these colors and yeah look it I must have been in like the boutique 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 um, kind of design today because this shirt totally matches I swear I didn't do that on purpose but you know you get in a design trend maybe it just appeals to you at the moment um okay so like I said we're gonna use the elements in the stamp set we are going to use this paper I'm gonna explain how the paper helps you make the color decisions and I am going to show you um, three or four more cards, including three sneak peeks from the catalog that debuts on August 3rd. So um, I do think that today's card layout is the perfect card layout. Um, there is really nothing to which it doesn't apply. So this is gonna be a super useful video for you guys. All right, let's get you guys twisted down here. Oh, hey Carol, hey Kay, Teresa and Debbie. Hope Michigan is sunny. We're pretty, um, we're pretty cloudy here today, but. Maybe you guys are, I'll have a little bit more sunshine. All right, so coming in here, um, like I said, we are going to um, pick some colors. Now, um, how to pick colors when you are working with designer series paper, it's super easy. Just look at what's in the paper. Um, you can even check on the back of the package. It will list the colors that are included in that package, and then you can select from there. So I've selected Just Jade, uh, Flirty Flamingo and Bumblebee, which are going to give us um, a great compliment for this paper. And um, I decided that I wanted to go with um, a card base in just jade and then um, use three strips of this designer series paper. So the great thing about this design is it's a terrific way to use up your scraps. Um, it also is a uh, really simple way to bring a lot of design element into your card without like overwhelming things, okay? So I'm going to, let's see, I didn't switch you guys over here. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna bring um, these three papers here, so which I'm using, they're the busy patterns on this side, but I'm gonna use two of the colors. Um, we'll get this kind of out of the way and get this set. Now, so for the three strip DSP card layout, um, the directions and the cutting sizes are actually in the video description here. Um, and so um, we're gonna start off and we're going to kind of position these, um, be aware that there is some direction to some of these papers. So you don't wanna just put them any which way. Um, and they're gonna go across the bottom of our card just like this, okay? Now I want one more element to go with that and that's the strip that is four and a quarter inches wide. And you wanna cut it vertically just wide enough for your greeting. So if you have a really narrow um, height greeting, then you don't need all that space. Um, and I'm going to bring in a greeting because I have it clearly on my mind um, from this instrumentary set, which is a very similar um, design style. 
And so we're gonna use Hey Friend, and I've got that here on a block already. And this is gonna go on our greeting. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. It's always dangerous to stamp on layers, especially when they might wanna move on you. And okay, it's a little like headed downhill. So I'm gonna flip it over and try it again. And I'm gonna know that this time I'm gonna tweak my greeting just a little bit so that it goes a little bit better uphill. There we go, much nicer. Okay. Uh, so we're going to bring this back and um, pop this here on our card, okay? And now we're going to bring in our design elements. So um, I'm gonna stick with these same colors and we're gonna use um, some of those images from Batik Boutique, which is, like I said, um, a so it's just a gorgeous um, design element kind of stamp set. And I'm gonna use these um, open ones here. You could intersperse and use the darker ones. There's some great samples um, in the catalog, but I'm gonna go ahead and give us um, a design element to go here. So that's the recipe for this three strip DSP card. Um, three strips, a horizontal greeting, and then some big design focal point element that's gonna go right here. Um, happy Monday, Pam. <laughs> uh, Let's see, so I'm gonna bring in some basic white cardstock and I'm gonna stamp. We're gonna do two different colors and I'm gonna layer. So we could do just one, but we're gonna go with two. So there's one which I didn't get inked on the bottom. So let's try that again. I love the Stampin' Up! cardstock it has two sides. I mean, I know all cardstock has two sides, but I love that it is um, opaque enough and strong enough that you can stamp on both sides without worrying about it. Okay. So those two elements, I'm gonna bring in our dies and die cut these. And so this one's gonna go here. This one is gonna go here. You could use your um, mini stamp and cut emboss machine for this because they're not super wide. And through the magic of television, I have two elements. And these guys are gonna be our focal point here. All right, now, this is a card as I first created it. And when I looked at this, I was like, oh, yay, I like that but it feels a little like there's, it's kind of hard to see what's going on here. So I thought, what happens if I stamp this on a piece of Flirty Flamingo cardstock instead so that it repeats the color from this Flirty Flamingo paper? And honestly, um, the color alignment is one of my very, very favorite things about Stampin' Up! products um, altogether. Stamps, ink, paper, designer series paper, even, uh, embellishments, these gems that we're gonna bring in, um, all the same color, which really makes things come together and look terrific. So um, you can check the supplies in the video description if that is something that you need. Now, die cutting this means I have this element, and let's see what happens when we swap this out. I'm gonna pop this one behind and this one in front, and look at how much better off we are, okay? What do you guys think? So much better, right? It's There's no competition here between these two elements. This one's really flowing into the background and this one's really pushed up into the foreground, okay? All right, now, I thought that's great, but I really wanna make the most of the batik. And so, um, I'm gonna bring in a layer of Just Jade. It is cut um, a quarter inch smaller than the card front, so it's four inches uh, tall by, excuse me, five and a quarter inches wide. And I'm gonna bring back my, um, let's see, we are still gonna use that. I'm gonna bring back my batik uh, elements and the Just Jade color, and we're gonna do some stamping of color on color. So I'm gonna bring this in. Now, this Just Jade on Just Jade cardstock is not like a shrinking violet, it's a strong color, but that's okay, uh, because this is gonna be kind of a background, and the batik image is kind of a, busy design, right? Like that's what batik is meant to be. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Oh good, Kathy and Kay, um, Sue, everybody says they like the flamingo better. I agree. Okay, so let's bring in um, this large element. When I do collage stamping, I always start with the biggest elements first and I don't wanna overdo it. So I think that's gonna be good for that. Um, and then when I pull this off to the side, I'm actually cleaning it, sorry. Should show you guys what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna bring in our next one. And these all face the same direction. This one I'm going to um, kind of tweak around a little bit. And I want it to look like it's cut out of a big piece of paper, so I'm gonna make sure my elements don't face 
sort of all the same direction always, okay? Although that was too deep. And cleaning that off. Let's see, because we're gonna come back to this for the inside of our card too. And what, we're stamping the inside? Yeah, of course we're stamping the inside of our card. And then this last one here is this little um, sort of, uh, it's kind of busy actually, so I don't wanna get too much of it on here, but enough to have that little extra punch um, of design. All right, so this is like the true power of Batik Boutique um, stamp set. It is an ability to cover lots of space, have really pretty design elements, and get a lot of extra like textury kind of background to our card. So let's um, bring this over here and pop this all on here. And then this is gonna go here on our card like this. Now, when I do that, um, I really like to pop this up on Stampin' Dimensionals. So um, let's see. My drawer here, I have lots of small Stampin' Dimensionals. All right, and I have some edge pieces, so let's just go crazy with these. So, um, I know you guys don't throw them away, right? You all save your edge pieces. Okay, don't tell me if you've thrown them away before, because you'll never throw them away again. But all those rings around the edge of your Dimensionals are just as wonderful as the Dimensionals themselves. So, make sure you hang on to those, okay. And then that's going to layer on here. And now we have not only those two layers, but we have a delightful um, shadow layer around the edge of our card there. Okay, then these three I'm going to pop on here with some seal. And remember that these papers, um, this three strip design can be applied to any um, card layout. I think that's actually, there, I want this one next. Um, any card layout and any suite. Um, you could do birthday cards, you could do thank you cards, you could do um, like character cards. There's really nothing that doesn't work great with it. So um, let's see, did I get the side that I wanted on here? I think so. Again, just using the edges of those dimensionals. So this is gonna flip up and layer on here. And now we have our flirty flamingo and our um, element here. So I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to adhere it um, to our flirty flamingo flower. So let's see, I think I want this to be about like that. And then I'm going to flip this and just to make sure you can see I stamped it twice, just to make sure that it stays where I want um, and has plenty of adhesive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that multi-purpose liquid glue there on the back. Okay. All right. What do you think? Need some embellishments, hey? Oh good, Tanya says she saves her, saves her dimensional edges, woohoo. Um, okay, so gems. I decided I wanna use these square gems. They are delightful. And so I'm gonna go with the Just Jade, although it occurred to me that I could use the um, Bumblebee. Hmm, maybe I'll use Bumblebee on this version. I'll show you a different one where I use the Just Jade. And I'm gonna group these. I like to have a group of three. So, oops, I pulled that one off. Uh-oh, I should just get my take your pick tool out and do the slide and, slide and stick. There we go, much safer. Then, uh, well, <laughs> plus it's easier. Okay, let's just stick that on there. Okay, slide and stick, slide and stick. Um, okay, oh, those are kind of pretty. I like the bumblebee too. Okay, the version with the Just Jade looks like this. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you have a preference, just jade versus um, the bumblebee? Let's see, you get it in the picture there. Okay, uh, but we're gonna stamp the inside of our card now. So let's bring in a layer because like I said, um, this uh, stamp set is just pretty delightful for um, doing elements. So I'm gonna stamp, I think two of these, we'll kind of do those off the edge and I'm keeping them oriented. And to avoid like overwhelming the inside of the card, I'm gonna stick with the um, Flamingo. And that's probably good because we don't wanna cover up too much space in there. So this is gonna go inside. All right, so you guys wanna see some other versions of this card? Like I said, um, this three DSP strip card layout, oh my gosh, and we're like super quick. We're, this is a speedy card in case you couldn't notice, let's see. Um, Kelly says Jade, Cheryl says both, Tanya says Jade, Trish says Jade, Kathy likes Bumblebee. I 
I'm with you. There is certainly room for your own uh, interpretation on this, lots of choices. But you guys wanna see some other versions of this card? This is how flexible this card is. Oh, actually the other version that's really close to this, um, instead of using um, the background stamped, I used the, I know you can't really see it, um, the fl pretty flowers um, embossing folder and use that on the background instead. And so here is that version of the card. You can kind of see those um, next to each other. So this one has a stamped background, which really shows off the batik set. And this one has the um, DSP or the um, embossing folder background, which is a little bit more subtle. So if you um, want to have that background be a little bit more in the background, then that folder is a good solution to that. So now, like this card, I have a version that uses the Sweet Symmetry stamp set. Remember, um, these are the stamps that I showed um, when I did that card uh, just right before the 4th of July, this guy here. Um, so here's the version. And so you can see it's the same three strips, the same size. I used the greeting from the same stamp set. And instead of the um, focal point being the batik here, the focal point for this one was the stamps um, from Sweet Symmetry and then the punch because the punch is bundled with this um, great stamp set. So a really um, just great utilitarian kind of set to have on hand. Okay, so there's another version of the card. Um, we're gonna keep going. You ready for the sneak peeks? I know like that you guys are gonna love this, but coming out um, on August, let's see, do I have my copy that I can show you? Coming out on August 3rd will be a new catalog. If you are one of my customers and you've ordered at least $50 from me in the last year, um, then you're gonna get your catalog in the mail for me, uh, hopefully sometime this week. And this is the new catalog. Um, ordering from this doesn't start till August 3rd, so save your wish list and know that it is super fabulous. Um, and has, of course, the Christmas thing. So it's called the July to December catalog, which um, actually is kind of true if you're a demonstrator. So if you're not a demonstrator and you can't wait, you can always pre-order things from this catalog as part of your demonstrator starter kit. Um, so you can check more information about that on my website at Loban Stamps and join my team, um, which is a really great way to get early access to things. Okay, you guys ready for these? Um, these cards, actually, I should tell you one other thing that's coming on August 3rd, because you'll get excited about this too. And I can't find my mini catalog to show you. Oh, there it is. What do you think? Are you guys ready for free stamps? So also starting August 3rd, we'll have two months of celebration. Uh, and so that is for each $50 that you order, you get a free item from this catalog. I can't open it. I'm not allowed to until it goes live. Um, but you'll get some free things from here and there's really cool sneak peeks down there at the bottom. You ready to see some? Okay, here's my first sneak peek card. It features um, the fabulous penguin punch that will be coming soon and the fabulous DSP um, that is a celebration item. So some from the holiday catalog, some from a celebration catalog. And um, you can see this fabulous um, three strip greeting, uh, three strip layout is absolutely perfect for this card too. So when I said you could do cute things with it and check out this knit stamped background. If you are a a uh, fiber crafter and knitter crocheter, um, you're gonna love having things with this knit. Okay, what else do I have for you? I have a Halloween card for you. Also, sneak peeks, these are the cute Halloween papers um, that are included there. And I know every year people are like, I don't send Halloween cards, but you know what? I don't send Halloween cards unless I have a cute card to send, which is totally these. So um, I do send Halloween cards now. And you can see I use that stamp background technique um, rather than um, you know doing the embossing folder. So here's cute ones. He sneak peek punch here too. Um, so that one will be coming. And one more because Christmas uh, is in here and I just like threw, oh, hold on. I flung a whole bunch of punched stars. Oh, Star Punch, yes, sneak peek. Okay, here's that one, which actually is, I think, my favorite paper from the upcoming holiday catalog. Can you see how iridescent that is? Um, so again, one, two, three strips, 
um, a sort of horizontal strip. And then this one, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, don't look too closely because I mounted it upside down, um, which is terrible, terrible for me as a musician. Um, I have no excuse, except that I already glued everything on. I didn't want to turn it over. So um, this music folder is going to be a really, really big hit because it is fabulous and it's real Christmas music. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it is actual Christmas music rather than like, um, I don't know if you guys have seen my kids were showing me TikToks of like stamps, um, people singing the stamped music from not stamping up stamps, like just from a random store and they're terrible. So, um, it, yeah, anyway, thank you stamping up for having good music and it's up to me to make sure I do it right side up next time. So anyway, um, there are three really fun sneak peeks, um, from the upcoming catalog. If you absolutely can't wait, um, contact me for information about becoming a demonstrator. Oh, one more sneak peek. Hello, little sparkle paper that's celebration related. That's all I'll say about that for now. Um, but these are coming soon. Otherwise, uh, you can get your wish list ready for August 3rd once your catalog arrives. If you um, have not ordered $50 from me in the last year and you would like to request a copy of your catalog, um, you can go to my website at Love and Stamps and under shop um, and catalogs, there's a place to request a catalog. And I'm happy to send those to you too. Just uh, fill out the little form. All right, guys. That covers us for today. So, man, are you like reeling? Uh, we covered a lot of things. We covered the um, super fabulous uh, designer series paper, three strip designer series paper um, card layout. So definitely keep this one. This one's for you, Kathy, with the <laughs> with the bumblebee um, squares. Definitely um, keep this card layout in mind because any pack of DSP can be used to make this card, like literally. Um, there's not one that won't work. Six by six packs work great because there are, you know, you get 12 strips like this from one sheet of DSP. 12 by 12 paper works great because you can split it up into the small fragments. It's a great way to use your scraps and it just really takes a lot of the guesswork out of the design process. So you can really um, kind of make the most of your stamping time and enjoy the, enjoy the process. So all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging with me this Monday morning. I will be back on Wednesday and Friday this week with some more ideas to share with you. Um, and yeah, have any questions, let me know, leave a comment, um, say hi, say where you're coming from, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Happy stamping.